Nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance, but over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. The bow was said to be carried by Auriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sun bursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. Absolutely. I can only do twenty at a time, so if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. Absolutely. I can only do twenty at a time, so if- Absolutely. 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 I can- Absolutely. I- Certainly. I can only do- I'm afraid I'll need elven arrows if you want me to produce the sun-hallowed arrows. And it seems you're all out of them at the moment.
It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we don't, he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's... It's not easy. But I don't think we have much of a choice. No. This has to end here and now. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're gonna be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. I heard it described in tales, but I could never have imagined its beauty. Indeed, the day hasn't been won while Harkon still walks Tamriel. But what of Serana? Can she be trusted to lift a blade against her own kind, her own family? I suppose that's as much as I can hope for. Let me address the Dawn Guard and then we'll be off. The men deserve to know that we finally gained the upper hand. Everyone, gather round. Come on then, we haven't got all day. Come to this one day. I knew, and no one believed. For too long, we've allowed these vampires to poison the night and kill our people. Now, we finally have the means to strike back. We now have Ariel's bow. The gods themselves have favored us, and we must answer with action. The time has come to finally put an end to Harkon and his unholy prophecy. We will march on their lair and destroy those wretched abominations so they can no longer corrupt our world. This is our fight, and this is our fate. This is the time of the Dawn Guard! This is it! Your crossbow hold between the eyes for me! Praise Arke! It's time we take the fight to their door. Gather your things and rest well, my friend. We meet outside Castle Volkahar. Keep your eyes open.
Serana, my darling. I see you still favor keeping a pet. You know why we're here. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it all away for this pathetic being. Provided for me? Are you insane? You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not touch him. So, I see this dragon has fangs. Your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence. 
How alike you've become. No. Because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. And you. It appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before she'd return with hatred in her heart. A small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. Yes, yes. Always the noble vampire hunter. And what happens when you've slain me? Is Valerica next? Is Serana? I see. Interesting that you can set aside your morals when it suits you. Yes, quite. I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. There will not be a second. Very well then, you leave me no choice. I'll raise the flesh of your done. I'm not sure. I'll probably stay with the Dawn Guard for as long as they'll let me. They're respectable fighters, and I think they see the benefits of having a vampire on their side now. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned... That's what I wanted to hear. I'll be with the Dawn Guard if you need me. So? It's over. He's dead. And the prophecy dies with him. I... I suppose this is difficult for you. I think my father really died a long time ago. This was just... the end of something else. I did what needed to be done. Nothing more. I think perhaps. I think you did more than that. You have my thanks. <laughs> <laughs>